Welcome to this video entitled Airfoil Lift and Drag Coefficient Example in ANSYS Fluent. In this video, you will learn how to set reference conditions in ANSYS Fluent to obtain correct coefficients. We'll be looking at a 2D NACA 18 airfoil model. Here's a look at the 2D model dimensions and boundary conditions. The model was built in ANSYS Space Claim and meshed in ANSYS Mesher. The cord is 100 millimeters or 0.1 meters. Uh, there was a 30 element high inflation layer. Uh, Fairfield conditions were uh, air at 300 Kelvin, uh, free stream Mach number of 0.1, and a zero degree angle of attack. Now let's look at the model. Okay, so here we have the model. It has been solved. Um, so here we have a contours of velocity magnitude. Okay, so now let's set our reference values. So we click here under physics on reference values. Let's compute it from the pressure far field boundary condition. So there you have the correct temperature and the correct velocity. Um, and then the um, since it's a, a two-dimensional model, the depth is always one meter, so all the values are per meter. Uh, but since the cord is um, 100 millimeters, we have to change the length from one meter to 0.1 meters. That's really the um, only other thing we need to do. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So now we can look at the reports and look here under forces. So this is how we would calculate the drag. So let's do print. Okay, so uh, this is your total drag coefficient is 0.0034. Okay. We can look at the lift coefficient by changing the direction vector. And let's compute that. So that lift coefficient is 0 0.0016. Thank you for watching.